Rome conquered five million square kilometers. Their secret weapon wasn't a sword. It was a formation no one could copy. At its height, the Roman Empire stretched over five million square kilometers, from rainy Britain to the deserts of Egypt and the rivers of Mesopotamia. For roughly 500 years, their legions kept that world under control. Other armies had brave warriors and sharp steel, too. What they didn't have was Rome's ability to make thousands of men fight like one disciplined machine. Their secret weapon was called the Legion, about 5,000 citizens organized into cohorts and centuries locked into a formation called the Triplex Aces. Three battle lines in a checkerboard pattern. Most ancient armies charged once and hoped to break the enemy. Roman commanders treated battle like a relay race. When the first line grew tired, they didn't collapse. They stepped back, and a fresh line surged straight through them, making that work took brutal practice. In their camps, legionaries drilled formations every single day, marching, wheeling, and changing direction on command. They swung wooden swords deliberately heavier than real steel to build strength. Centurions barked orders and watched spacing down to the width of a shield. Soldiers learned to lock shields into a wall, to open gaps for comrades passing through, to snap into Testudo under missile fire, then unfold back into the three-line grid, no heroics, no lone charges, just a human machine, trained until every man trusted the system more than his own instincts. Against that system, most enemies broke twice, first in body, then in mind. They'd smash into the front line, think they were winning, and suddenly find a fresh Roman wall in front of them again and again. From Carthaginian war bands to northern tribes, few armies could train, supply, and discipline troops on Rome's scale. That's why, for centuries, maps kept turning Roman red. Their secret weapon wasn't a single formation. It was the legion itself, 